Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Applications Daily Tech Tips. And in today's tip, we're learning how to start your computer, your Windows 10 driven computer in safe mode. Now safe mode is that state where you only load Windows with its default settings and maybe a limited set of files and drivers. And this is usually required when your computer has some issues or you're running into some trouble and you're not sure what the trouble is and you're just trying to diagnose and trying to figure out what the problem is. So in Windows 10, there are not one, not two, but three different ways of getting into safe mode. And that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So number one is from the settings. Now this one assumes that your computer is still running fairly smoothly and that you have no problems accessing the settings or even operating a computer. Open a computer and then click on Windows plus letter I or just type settings into the search bar and then click on that to open the settings window. Now on this window, click on update and security. Then you wanna to go to the left hand side pane and click on recovery. And then under advanced startup, click on restart now. And that should restart your computer. And then it's going to give you a set of options. And from that set of options, click on troubleshoot. And then click on advanced settings. And then you wanna click on startup settings and then click on restart. And this allows you to, you know, restart your computer with that set of options where you can choose to go into safe mode. So when that window appears, you can choose either number four or number five. Number four is enable safe mode and number five is enable safe mode with networking, which means you can have safe mode together with Wi-Fi and wired internet, whatever you want. So if you want number four, enable safe mode, press on F4 on your keyboard. And if you want number five, which is enable safe mode with networking, press on number five. Number two is the sign-in screen. Now this assumes your computer at least allows you to boot it up to the sign-in screen. So from here, simply open the sign-in screen and then you wanna press and hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then use your mouse to click on the power option and then select restart. On this page, again, go to troubleshoot and then again, click on advanced options and then startup settings and then click on restart to open that window. You can choose whether you want to go into safe mode. And so here you go again with the options. So number four for enable safe mode or number five for enabling safe mode with networking, press F4 or F5 respectively as you wish. So number three and lastly, is open safe mode from a blank screen or a black screen. So this assumes you've run into a black screen or a blank screen, and that means you can't access settings and you can't navigate on your computer. And all that's left to do is use the hardware options on your computer to get into safe mode. So this one is a little bit crude and it should be the last option. So when your computer is on, you wanna press and hold down the power button for about 10 seconds for your computer to have a cold shutdown. There you go, just like that. After it shuts down, then you wanna click on the power button again to turn it on. And at the first sign of turning on, press and hold the power button again for 10 seconds until it shuts down again, just like that. Then again, and then again, press on the power button to turn on your computer. And once again, at the first sign of a power up, press again and hold to shut down your computer. Just like that. It's very crude, I know. So again, for the third time, turn it on and wait for that first sign of booting. There you go. So shut down again by pressing and holding down the power button. And then the fourth time, just press the power button and let your computer start and it should start straight away into Windows recovery mode. So go ahead and select troubleshoot, then advanced options, then startup settings again, and then click on restart. And that will give you once again the options to go into safe mode or safe mode with networking. So those are the three ways to start your Windows 10 computer in safe mode. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.